Hey everybody, this is Builder Dude 35 Today I have an improved method for aligning your robot to lines on the FLL field using the EV3 color sensor. All that and more after this. Now, uh, the first thing I want to say is that this video is just going to be an expansion off of my previous video. So if you haven't seen that, go see it now, or you're not going to understand anything that we're talking about. I'm going to tell you step by step how to build the older program in that other video. And um, in this video, I'm telling you step by step how to improve the older video. So if you haven't seen it, I'm going to put the annotation right here. So by now you should have watched the older video uh, and what, what the alignment does in the older video is the robot drives forward until one of the sensors sees the black line and then it aligns them by moving one wheel forward, resetting the degree counter, then measuring the distance it takes to go all the way back to the other white edge of the line, then dividing that by two and returning to the center. And it does that with each wheel independently. But the problem with that is, is since only one sensor is looking for the black line, what happens is if you put it on any angle other than almost perpendicular, it won't work. So like an angle like this. Now what this uh, improved method is going to do is allow you to put it on any angle you want and still be able to line it up perfectly perpendicular with this line here. And how we're going to do that is we're first going to start approaching the line in a different way. What happens with this program is this sensor controls this motor, this sensor controls this motor, and each motor is driving forward independently of one another until this sensor sees black, which will stop this motor, or this sensor sees black, which will stop this motor. And they drive forward independently until their respective sensors see the black line. And that should get us kind of close to perpendicular. And then what we do is we run the alignment from the last video, the older video, not once, but twice to ensure the ultimate accuracy possible. So now I'm going to go to my computer and I'll show you step by step how to program this new edition. Okay, so now I'm on my computer and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this addition to the program you've already made. Now keep in mind how this is going to work is it's going to independently tell each wheel to drive forward until it sees the black line. So we're going to need two branches. So to start, we're going to take out a weight block. This doesn't really have any function in the program, so you're going to set it to zero seconds. The only reason why we do this weight block is to anchor these two branches to each other when we create a my block. So we're going to take out two my blocks, one for the top branch and one for the bottom branch. And then what we're going to do is out of this weight block, we're going to plug it into each of these two loops here. And so now we have our two branches we can build off of. Into each of these loops, we're going to be placing a large motor block. And in the top one, we're going to set that to B. The bottom one is going to be set to C. And with each of these motors, we're going to set change it to on instead of on for rotations and the power is going to be 20 percent so I'm putting negative 20 percent because on my robot negative power makes the robot go forward so now you're going to change the loop status to color sensor then reflected light intensity and you're going to change it to less than or equal to 8 and so this is going to say when you see less than 8 percent light skip over this loop and go on to the next action and less than or equal to eight percent of course is the black line and then we're going to change the top one to port one and now we're going to do the same thing onto the bottom one switch it to reflected light intensity less than or equal to then eight percent and then now this is going to be port two since this is motor c next thing we're going to do is we're going to take another large motor block and put it on the end of each of these branches like this and we're just going to turn the motor off and now make sure you have the correct ports so the top branch is B and the bottom branch is C okay so we've made our little addition here and now the next thing we need to do is integrate it into the program that we already have so what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this entire thing and make sure your start block is not highlighted. We're going to go up to Tools, 
then to my block builder and we're going to make this into a my block so we can insert it into our program so we're going to name it uh, I don't know find black line so just like that you make your my block by clicking finish and we have a my block so if you click on this little teal section it comes up right here in the bottom our entire little program we made is compressed in there so now we're back to our old program and this is our old finding the black line that doesn't work so we're going to delete that and that now what we're going to do is we're going to drag out our find my black line my block and then plug it into the rest of the program and now you ha have updated what you already have this is your updated program okay so now the very last thing that we needed to do is we're going to put it inside of a loop block so it repeats itself twice and why are we repeating it this is to make it more accurate and consistent so even if you put it on a ridiculous angle it'll still line up perfect perfectly perpendicular geez that's hard to say just try saying that perfectly perpendicular all right so to do that we're going to drag out a loop block like this you're going to change it from unlimited to count and in the count you're going to put two and now the very 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 last thing we're going to do with this program that's an absolute pinky promise is you're going to zoom out all the way so you can see your entire program just like this then you're going to highlight the entire thing up to the loop block and then you're going to put it inside that loop block and now this is the finished program so now we can download it onto our robot and see how it goes so now we've downloaded the program onto our robot and let's test it let's take a look and that is perfectly perpendicular to the line now let's try it on a 45 degree angle now let's see that's almost perpendicular just maybe a little bit off I mean you can't expect to approach from 45 degrees and get perfectly perpendicular uh, one thing is that this is not uh, a justification to be lazy when lining up your robot please don't get lazy with lining up your robot this is just to make your programs more consistent so that's it for this lesson if you're still watching thank you very much for watching it all the way through I really appreciate it if you found this helpful I would really appreciate it if you liked it and if you want more of these tutorial videos every week please subscribe to my channel uh, thank you and I'll see you next week with a new tutorial